and thank you for joining us here at six o'clock. Minnesota health care executives say that they cannot handle this latest COVID surge alone, and they are turning away patients who need care. Theo Keith joining us now, and Theo, they're turning actually to the military for some help, and more soldiers are actually coming, huh? Randy Kelsey, Governor Tim Walls is activating the National Guard to go into nursing homes with severe staffing shortages, while a federal emergency team is now on the ground at HCMC. A Defense Department emergency medical team arrived at HCMC Monday to address a staffing shortage there. Hospital execs say they're turning away 5 to 50 people a day because the emergency department is backed up. And it's not uncommon for a health system or a physician or advanced practice provider in rural Minnesota to call us several times in the same day looking for a bed. The hospital can't transfer patients from the ER to inpatient care because of a lack of staff. This federal team will help open a 10-bed release valve letting the hospital accept more incoming emergency patients. So for us to do a call for help, I hope the community hears that. That that call for help is that we are not at capacity. Most days we're over capacity. Meanwhile, Governor Tim Walz is activating the Minnesota National Guard to help nursing homes facing severe staffing shortages. 400 soldiers will train as nursing assistants with the goal of being ready by December 5th. Industry groups say they have some 23,000 open jobs, 20% of Minnesota's nursing home workforce. They are burned out. They have been fighting this pandemic for 20 months, um, and we have never gone back to normal. The governor is also using $50 million of federal funds under his control on employee retention and hiring bonuses at nursing homes. Walz's office hasn't specified amounts or a timeline. Minnesota Senate Republicans called for a bigger plan, up to $200 million, though a special session to approve that is uncertain at best. As we've been reporting for the last week, Minnesota faces one of the worst COVID-19 surges right now. But this capacity problem at the hospitals is happening, even though Minnesota has about 500 fewer COVID patients now than it did during the fall 2020 surge. The problem this year is that so many staffers have left in the meantime. Kelsey. All right. Thanks, Theo. Well,